this video on 30 feet under the ocean surface and, and walking like without objects holding me up for the first time in over a decade. It's an incredible experience that I never imagined that I would actually have. So for the last 10 years, you have been in a wheelchair for the most part, right? You have not been vertical, right, like this? Right, for the last 13 plus years. 13 plus years, okay. You're on the, the yeah. bottom, your feet are touching, you're using your breath to control your buoyancy. What's it like? I've never been out of the Earth's gravitational pull, but I would have to liken it to being in space, Look like on the moon. Room. like. Weightlessness, totally yes. zero gravity. It, it was, in fact, in, in our view, preferable both to weightlessness and the Earth's gravity. It's liberation. Diving is freedom. I'm smiling ear to ear looking at you, and <laughs> I have to clear my mask several times because my ear to ear grin it's causing the leak to... Your mask to leak, yeah, right? Yeah, it's causing yeah. my ears... It's causing my mask to leak, you know? So I have to stop and clear my mask every so often. Well, you're, you're doing an awesome job. I mean, I mean, sometimes right. it looks like you're gonna fall forward, but you use your breath to recover and come back up. And so, I mean, I saw you during the earlier dives moving your legs and I thought, God, wouldn't this be cool just to have you stand up? And then I thought, let's let's see if you could walk. And I just started swimming backwards and then you know, bringing, bringing you forward and giving that little sign, like walk towards me. And, and then, yeah, positive reinforcement, giving you the shock, you know, hang loose sign and clapping and, and, and you were just rocking. Look at, there you go, you're, yeah. You're, you're, you're kind of, and they, they get worried that your buddies I, get worried that you're gonna then fall. Then I <laughs> here un, intentionally do a little Ron Santo heel click. <laughs> Ron Santo, the great third baseman from the 1969 Chicago Cubs. Right, right, right. Yeah, and then you, uh, you yeah. when you bounced up, you, you just exhale. Right. There you are clearing. Right. And you, right. Now you bring it down, and, and uh, your it's buddies, your, your buddies totally are watching. Totally surreal. I was feeling something that I had never felt before. I'm on another plane of existence at this point, okay? Jim Elliott started a scuba diving program for disabled children and he's had amazing results. His story is tonight's Art Norman Chicago. Here. Thank you, Robin Ellison. Elliott is the winner of the prestigious National Volunteer of the Year Award. His foundation is called Dive Heart. These are disabled kids discovering their new ability to move walk and experience a pain-free environment underwater at the Illinois Rehabilitation Facility in Chicago, and they can't stop smiling. What's it like in the water we, out there with Jim Elliott in the game? I can only describe it as freedom. So do you think this would be therapeutic for people? I can say without issues? a shadow, I can say beyond a shadow of a doubt, scuba diving is the most therapeutic thing that I have ever done in my entire life. I think all 7 billion plus people on the planet should see this so they can have that little click. Like, Look at you. You're... Like something clicked there. Like Just a little switch in their head just goes, Hey, why not? Look at Do you. This. You're awesome, man. Look at you. you. You bounced up. It's like being on the moon, right? Totally. <laughs> if you can dream it, then why not do it?